As a San Francisco 49ers fan who is not at all a fan of the Seattle Seahawks, I never thought I would ever say these words. But the Seahawks suck right now. Okay. I know, it's hard to believe, but it's really bad. The Seahawks are currently last in their division with a 3-8 and record. If the Seahawks were to finish this season last in their division, then it would be the first time they finished dead last in their division since 1996. And as for their top 5 quarterback Russell Wilson, this will be his first season he finishes with a losing record, and it looks like it's going to happen. I really feel bad for Russell though. The man has been an incredible player but isn't getting the help he needs. I think it's time he demands to leave. And by that, I'm thinking what if he pulls an Antonio Brown or something like that where he boycotts and doesn't play. That would be wild, but it's his only way out of Seattle. How is everybody doing today? It's Sports Hello back with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Russell Wilson and how he needs to request a trade ASAP. Let's not waste any time. Now let's get straight into it. When Russell Wilson first came into the league, people already knew that this guy would be unstoppable. When he played in college, he was insane. His best season in college was in 2010 when he threw for 3,563 yards and 28 touchdowns. Now Wilson wasn't good enough to be a first round draft pick, but in the 2012 draft with the 75th pick of the third round, the Seahawks picked him up. With the 75th pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Russell Wilson, quarterback, Wisconsin. There you go. This is a kid I can't tell you how much I like. Now what was already a great feeling for Wilson was not just getting drafted, but the fact that he was going to be the starting quarterback. Before Wilson was in town, the starting QB of the Seahawks was a man by the name of Tarvaris Jackson. Jackson really just had one season that Wilson wasn't there to shine, and it could have been better. He did throw for 3,000 yards and had 14 touchdowns, but he had 13 interceptions. So it's safe to say, when Wilson was drafted, he basically turned into a water boy. Okay, maybe that was a little too much, but you get the idea. He never started another game. And the reason to that was because of the fact that Wilson was like an Iron Man out there. For his entire career, he would play all 16 games and dominated. Wilson was capable of turning a mediocre Seahawks team into one of the best teams in the league, become one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, help the Seahawks make the playoffs and actually make it interesting, and not be eliminated in the wild card, become a pro bowler as a rookie, but best of them all, win a Super Bowl. In 2013, which let me remind you, was his sophomore year in the league, he threw for 3,357 yards, had 26 touchdowns, and only 9 interceptions. The Seahawks finished that season going 13-3. The Seahawks would dominate in the playoffs. And then came the Super Bowl. They were playing against the Denver Broncos. And man oh man, was this an absolute blowout. The Seahawks scored at least 7 points in every quarter. They finished the game winning 43-8. It was a day to remember for the Seahawks. For the Broncos though? The exact opposite. The Seahawks continued to ball out with Russell Wilson, but then a problem started occurring. The Seahawks were making the playoffs every season, but they would continuously get eliminated. Why may you ask? Well, if you're asking me, I would say it had to do with the fact that the offensive line of the Seahawks was weak. Wilson would get sacked around 40 times a season and would lose hundreds of yards because of this. His offensive line just got poor and couldn't give him the help he needed. So what is the solution? Well. It's really just to get him out of there. You see, Russell Wilson is not only a great player, but also a great guy. He is so loyal to his team that even though he's willing to play for other teams, he said he would still like it if he stayed with Seattle for his entire career. That's nice and all, but if Wilson wants to go back into his old form where he's winning a Super Bowl, then I would get out of Seattle. It would be like Tom Brady leaving the Pats. I think that Wilson just needs to move on from Seattle and potentially return to them when he's going to retire. For now, he's still in his prime at 33 years old and has said before he wants to play up to the age of 45. Now obviously that won't be easy, but if he really were to attempt to do that, well then he's got to be somewhere he's enjoying and specifically winning. The Seahawks are 3-8 and eight so far. Russell Wilson has missed a few weeks due to surgery, and let me remind you, before this, he never missed a game, and the Seahawks are more than likely not making it, and I mean unless Jesus Christ is helping them win or something like that. In other words, it would take a miracle. So who are some teams that could use a guy like Wilson? Well, let me name a few. The Pittsburgh Steelers could definitely use a guy like Russell. 
Ben Roethlisberger did say that this will be his last season in the NFL. Who better to take his spot than a man like Russell Wilson? I think it would be a beyond perfect replacement. Or how about the Houston Texans? It's obvious that Deshaun Watson's got to go due to all the controversy. If the Texans can improve on the offensive line in particular, then they should consider picking up Russ. Or how about the New Orleans Saints? After losing the legendary Drew Brees, they've been using guys like Jameis Winston and Taysom Hill. And both of those guys, no offense, just aren't it. Just like I said for Big Ben, if the Saints want to have a good replacement for Drew, then Wilson is your guy. The only way Wilson can turn his current situation around is if he does one thing, request a trade ASAP. We will see if the day of Wilson getting traded will ever arrive. That is going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, please consider to leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. I'm out.